Hi there, I'm Eitan and welcome back to the Wix Wiz. Today we're going to be talking about this newly released Wix multilingual feature, which is the ability to translate the CMS content that will allow you to create stuff like this dynamic page, where if it's in English, then you see everything in English. And if you change to, for example, Spanish, you can see the collection data being displayed in Spanish. We're going to explore this both on the service level and then we're going to hop in and peek in a little deeper in how this affects Velo coding. So if you want to see all that and more, let's get started. Okay, so before we get started with the multilingual installation, let me go over the basic setup that I have here. So what you see here is a dynamic page and this is one of two dynamic pages. The projects item pages and the list pages. And this is a very simple dynamic page setup based on this projects collection. And if I take a look here at the projects collection, you'll see it's just some basic mock data. And our goal today will be to use the new CMS translation feature of Wix multilingual in order to allow this CMS to connect to our dynamic pages on multiple languages, something that was not previously possible. Uh, so in order to do this, the first step is going to be to install Wix multilingual. And we're going to be doing that here inside of add apps. And inside of the app market, I'm just going to search for multilingual. And I'm going to select Wix multilingual over here and add it to the site. And let's confirm the site's default language. So that will be English. And let's create another language. And let's say that this will be Spanish. And I'm going to go ahead and add the language. Great. So now that we've added the language to uh, our site, what we can do is we can now go into the CMS. So right over here, I'm going to go into CMS. And I'm going to go to, whoops, I'm going to go to my collections. And I'm going to open the projects collection that I showed you before. And if I go up here on top to more actions, then we can go down to manage translations. And this will open up a new window, which will allow us to set up the translations for this CMS collection. So you can see here on the side that we have CMS and projects. This is the collection that I'm currently editing. And we have here all of the items essentially for our that are in our collection. Okay, and currently Wix is showing me the fields that are eligible for translation. Uh, and if you want to learn more about this and the entire process, I do recommend checking out the documentation for this, which I will include in the description. Uh, but basically, only certain fields are eligible for translation. And currently, they're not translated. Uh, but what I could do is I can go in here and just auto translate a few of these fields. And let's go ahead, auto translate. And there we are. So these, whoops, I missed one over here. Okay, so now we've essentially translated our, uh, the fields that are eligible for translation. And our CMS has two versions, an English version and a Spanish version. And this uh, can now be uh, saved and published. Obviously, you can also create the translation yourself. You don't have to auto translate if you know Spanish. Uh, mine is very basic. So I'm just going to go with the auto translate. Uh, so let's go in and save and publish. And now if we go to our site, and we publish our site, we can then go to our live site. So let's go ahead and view site. And I didn't put an entrance point to the to the page. So let's go here and go to projects and hope that that takes us there. Okay, so this is the projects page. And currently, we are on the English version of our site. And for some reason, I don't see the language switcher over here. So let's see why is my language menu not showing. That's not very nice. <laughs> uh, let's see manage menu. 
Visitors can't see this menu yet. Uh, make a hidden language visible. Let's see, manage languages. Okay, so this is another step that I actually wasn't familiar with. So <laughs> I'm happy that we're discovering this together. So, okay, so it's currently Spanish, the status is his hidden. So we want to go ahead and change it here to visible. Okay, uh, and awesome. So let's go ahead and now publish our site again. Go back to the projects page, give it a refresh. And now we have our picker. Uh, so let's go ahead and pick Spanish. And now you can see that we are seeing the Spanish translations from the CMS. So this is different than what you've experienced with Wix Multilingual before, where we had a single page which had different variations of the element text or yeah, element text from language to language. This is actually pulling this information from our data collection. Okay, so if this was a regular channel, then we'd probably stop here, but this is the Wix Wiz. So what we're gonna do is now hop into Velo and see if this new multilingual capability has any effects on the data of our website. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go up over here and hop into dev mode. And once we have dev mode open, what I want to do is I want to first check and see the data that we have here inside of the data set in our different languages. So let's zoom in a bit and I'm going to select our projects data set and I'm going to get items and let's get items zero to four, let's say. And I'm gonna assign this to a variable. So let's say const items equals to project data set dot get items. And I'll put this all into the on ready for our project data set. So project data set dot on ready. And I'll put everything that we just wrote inside of that callback function. And after doing that, I will add a log. So console.log items. So let's go ahead and publish our site. And I'm going to head over now to the live site and give it a refresh. So now we're on the Spanish version of our site. So let's see what the value of the items from our data set is. So I'm going to go here into console. And let's wait for that to load. I don't see it yet. Let me try again. Okay, so I see here that it's a promise. Uh, so we're going to need to add in async await. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm going to do here async. And I'm going to await projects data set dot get items. Let me go ahead and hit publish. And head back here. And let's give that a refresh. Okay, so here we have the items that we got back. And let's see what we have here. So if I take a look at the data, then essentially, we can see that it's in Spanish. Okay, so the, the value of this data is currently the Spanish value. And if I go ahead and I change it to the English version of the site, and the site page reloads, and then we take a look at the items here. So now we, I'm getting the English values from this data set, which makes a lot of sense. The question is, what happens now if we decide to use Velo on our site? Instead of using the data set, we use Wix data query. So let's take a look and see what would happen there. So I'm, I'm heading back to the editor here. And instead of doing this, what we're going to do is we're going to use uh, Wix data. So I'm going to go ahead over here, let's zoom in. And I'm going to create a new function. So async function, uh, fetch projects. And this is not going to take any parameters. And up here on top, let's not forget to import Wix data. And here I'm going to go ahead and say const query results equals to await wixdata.query. 
And here I'm going to need the name of my collection. So let me just double check that over here in databases and projects. And I can copy the collection ID from right over here. And I'm going to paste it here inside of query. So just paste that right over there. And I'm going to say dot find. And then let's console dot log query results. OK, so very simple. And I'm just going to run this fetch projects function here uh, right when we start the on ready for the page. And let's see how the data comes back once we do it like this. So I'm going to go ahead and publish this as well. And let's go back to our products page, our projects page. Uh, I'm going to inspect and I'm going to go ahead and refresh. Okay, so here we have um, the query result, and we can see that we got four items back. And this makes sense. We're on the English version of the page, so we're obviously getting the English. This is also the default of how we set up our collection, so this would be expected either way. Uh, let's head over to the Spanish version now and see what we get back in our query. So if I go here into items, then we can see here that now my query is returning the Spanish data. Okay, so if you're on the English version of your site, then you're going to get English data when you run Wix query in Velo. And when you are on the Spanish version, if you run Wix query, then you're going to get the Spanish version. So this is really quite interesting. And now we're going to take it even a step further and see what happens if I add data to my collection when we're on the Spanish version of my site. So I'm going to go over here into the editor. And let's create a new function. So uh, let's zoom in. And this will be an async function. Add new item. And here I'll say const to insert equals two. And what we're going to have over here Let's just find at least one property from our. So we have title. So I'm just going to I'm just going to insert a new item with just a title because I don't want to deal with all the stuff that we have here. And that title should be enough to kind of give us an indication of what the behavior is when we add a new item to the collection. So I'm going to go over here. And I'm going to go zoom back in. So to insert and title and. I'm going to say test, test, test. And basically, let's see how our website, how our CMS behaves when we insert this new item to our collection when we're on the Spanish version of the site. Will it insert it in both? Ver will insert both to the English and to the Spanish? Will it insert this just as the Spanish version and then the English version won't exist? I don't know. So let's see uh, what will happen here. And we're going to use um, await Wix data dot insert. And we're going to insert into the projects collection. And we're going to be inserting this to insert. OK, and I'm just going to run this function as soon as we uh, as soon as we load the page. So add new item. And let me go ahead and publish this. Awesome. And I'm going to refresh this page. Again, we're on the Spanish version of the site. And I'm going to refresh the page again. And I don't have permissions to insert uh, on the projects collection. Awesome. So let me go ahead and make sure that I have those permissions. So I'm going to go ahead over here, edit permissions and privacy. And I'm going to set it so that anyone can add content. And I'm going to go ahead and click Save. Uh, once that's saved, I'm going to publish my site. And I'm going to refresh this page again. OK, great. So now uh, we see here that we have five items in the, uh, the collection that came back from the query. 
And here we can see this is the new one that I just added in. And the title is test, 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 which makes sense. Uh, but let's see now what happens if I go to the English page of my site. Okay, so now we have seven items in the array. And we can see here that they are also test, 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 test. Okay, so let's go ahead now and check out how this all looks in the editor. So if I open up the projects collection, so we have four new items with the title test, test, test. So this is the English version, the default. Uh, but let's go ahead and check out uh, manage translations. Okay, we're going to go and see what the Spanish versions of these look like, because remember that one of these items I inserted while I was in the Spanish version of my site. Uh, so let's go all the way down here. And we can see that we have here, all of them are in the English versions, uh, but the Spanish one doesn't have any translations. Okay, so that means that if we're fetching data, it depends what version of the site we're on, if we're on the uh, English version or the Spanish version or whatever languages you have and it will Wix data will fetch the data accordingly but when it comes to insert and possibly to updating then it seems to only be affecting the original collection if your default's English that's the English if your default is something else then that would be something else um, so I haven't seen uh, in my searches of the documentation an indication for how to insert data with translations at the moment. It could be something that the Wix team is working on. Uh, if you do know how, then please do let me know in the comments below. I'd be super interested to know. Um, but we're going to end up here. I hope you found this video enjoyable. If you want to see more content like this, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, give it a thumbs up, and I will see you next time.